Hello YouTube, welcome back to uh, the best uh, deck profile uh, of 2019 for premium. Uh, I entered this deck in my local shop challenge and got first place. Here's the certificate. It says shop challenge winner. Um, so it's a Royal Paladin deck. The starter is Wingle Brave. Um, we run this card because it has Forerunner. Uh, the rest of the card skill doesn't matter. We just need Forerunner, obviously. Um, I run three copies of Majesty Lord Blaster because it's the it's the 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 main ride, and you uh, you win the game with this card. Uh, this one's SP because I have money. So what it does, um, it has a crit at all times if you have Blaster Dark and Blaster Blade in the soul. So it just makes it automatically the best card in the game. Um, this other thing is when it attacks, you put Blaster Blade and Blaster Dark from your rear into its soul, and it gets another 10,000 power. So uh, that's a really big number. And uh, if you get two crits, you basically win. So yeah, you just basically want to ride MLB. Uh, I'd run a fourth copy, but um, that would be too broken, and I'm trying to limit myself so that I don't like just destroy everyone. So I'm trying to make the game fair. Um, so next after that is three copies of King of Knights, Alfred. Uh, imaginary gifts are pretty okay. They're um, they're kind of weak in my opinion, but uh, I decided to run the card anyway just for fun. Uh, what it does is it lets you search for Blaster Blade and give it 5k, and then it gets another 10,000 power. So it's basically MLB, but almost as good because it doesn't gain a crit, but it, they both do the same thing with the 10k power, so I figured might as well run those as well. Um, next up we run two copies of Exculpate the Blaster. So Exculpate basically ensures that you can like swing twice or something. Um, it's uh, when it's placed you counter blast one, you pick everything except for one card and put it in the job zone, it can attack your opponent's field. And then after attacks you use a Blaster Blade that's in your soul and write his stand. So since you already have Blaster Blade in your soul from Majesty Lord Blaster, you just do this and then you know, you win that turn basically because your opponent already took all those crits from when you use Ma Majesty Lord Blaster. So yeah, um, that's it for those. Oh, last but not least, um, Gancelot. Uh, the first skill is the most important part. It's Counter Blast 2. Um, if you have Blast Blade in the soul, it gets 5k in a crit. So after you use MLB, you ride this, and then you Counter Blast 2, give it 5k in a crit, and then uh, you swing for more. Instead of swinging for 12k with 2 crits, you swing for 14 with 2 crits, so you know, 14 is more than 12. Uh, the other skill is kind of okay, it's just when you reveal it, you uh, put it on top of your deck, look for Blast Away and put it in your hand. Uh, it kind of helps with consistency, but the fact since you always draw Blast Away when you need it, it's like, it's kind of whatever. Um, next up for grade twos, uh, four copies of Blast Blade. Uh, we run four uh, just to flex on people. Uh, I'd run three. Uh, just because I see it anytime I need it, so, but uh, four is just so you know I can just flex. Uh, yeah, it's just Blaster Blade. You really don't really need to know anything else about what it does. Um, next up is um, the stronger Blaster Blade. So this one, uh, he's stronger because he's dark, and then we, he gets to retire stuff, and um, he revolutionized Vanguard because he gets an extra drive check. So he's basically a grade 3, so you want to run 4 of it, so that when you ride it and you get your twin drive, your opponent makes the mistake of thinking you're on grade 3, and then they try to stride, and you're like, nah, -uh, I'm at grade 2, and they're like, oh no, I misplayed, I'm just going to scoop, and that's how I won one of my games during the shop challenge. My opponent just gave up because I was just too strong. Um, next cop is 4 copies of uh, Lou, the favorite people of light and dark. So... When he's boosted by Barco or Flogo, he gets like some skill that lets you search for a blaster. Um, there's not too many blasters in the deck, you know, there's um, or grade 2 blasters, there's just 8. So I mean like, that's not too many targets to search for, but you, you're bound to find one. Um, and then you get to call it and the thing gets 3k. So it's pretty good when you're trying to look for um, Blaster Dark or Blaster Blade for MLB, so might as well run it. Um, yeah, so then we run um, four copies of Blaster Friend Barkle. So this card's okay because it's like Dorant. 
Um, so you get to unflip when you call Blaster Blade in, in front of it in this, or in the same column. And uh, yeah, you get to unflip cards. And it has a blaster in its name, so that's more blaster units. Um, next up is four copies of a Stride Fodder. We're in premium, so you might as well stride, you know. And then lastly for grade ones is three Lian and one of the regular PG. Um, this one is so you can G call it out the G Guardian. And these are because you have Blaster and Alfred Vanguards almost all the time. The only time this doesn't work is when you ride Gansalot, but the turn you ride Gansalot, you're basically going to win anyways, so it doesn't really matter at that point. Um, next up is Triggers, you know, four of those, four of those, four of this thing, I don't know what it does, but I heard it's good, and uh, four heals. Um, I never really used this card skill. Uh, I just drive check it during my MLB turn, and I just win with that. But um, apparently it does something with Blaster Blade, but I have to read it later. Um, G units. Uh, we run two copies of uh, Gansalot. This is proxy. No, I'm JK. I, I have money. Um, this is getting reprinted because people can't afford outdated cards or something. When it attacks, it gets counter charge and quad drive, and you get a crit too if you have a card face up in your G-Zone. It also gives Blaster Blades resist during your turn. Two alt miles to search for grade twos. Um, you know, deck thing is cool. Two copies of Alfred Saver. Uh, Alfred Saver lets you give a Blaster Blade twin drive and you know more drive checks means more crits so that's how you win games. Um, two copies of Holy Squire Dragon for that um, Ooga Booga, Link Joker, Lock matchup, and you get to unlock your stuff. Uh, one copy of a Human Fetus, and this one lets you basically do what Alt Mile does, but like the first stride. I only run one because I don't really care for the other skill. One GB8 to win if I don't win with my Gansalot Grade 3 or MLB already. Um, it's just there, you know, to fill up the thing. Uh, one legit sword because it's legitness and um, it lets you search out more grade twos. Then on to the G Guardians. Um, two of this thing, Little Great Sage Marin. So what this does is you soul blast and when it's placed in guard circle you search. You have to have an Alfred of Vanguard, or, I'm sorry, an Alfred of Blaster Vanguard. Um, so it doesn't work when you have Gansalot as your Vanguard. So remember you can only ride Gansalot at the turn you're going to win or you'll basically lose. Um, this lets you search for any grade 1 or greater and gets 5k shield, so more deck thinning. Two copies of Maskell. Uh, Maskell is generation break 1, you flip another G Guardian face up. Um, and if you have a rear guard in your front row, you get another 10k shield. And then one Dismal. Um, this Dismal is mostly there when your opponent is trying to attack your rear guard Blaster Dark. Um, you really don't want them to kill off that Blaster Dark because, um, uh, it has nothing to do with what the card does as a skill, it's just a principle of protecting Blaster Dark in general. It even has Dark Element in its name. Uh, so I guess I should explain the combo of how I won with this deck, so I'll just do a quick little setup here. So we, um, we have Blaster Dark, Blaster Blade, and um, Majesty Lord Blaster, so the point of the deck is uh, let's say you're on your grade 2 ride turn, right? So you got some grade 2, something like that, whatever. We don't really care about his skill, we just ride him for ride fire. So we ride Majesty Lord Blaster. And then um, you don't get a gift, but you don't need it because you're going to get 10k power anyways. So then you call Blaster Dark. And then you call Blaster Blade. And then what you do is. You don't even swing with these two because it doesn't matter. Your opponent's going to no guard anyways. You swing with the Majesty Lord and you move your standing two blaster units into its soul. And then um, they just um, they just take it, you know? And then you get you drive check two crits. One of those. Maybe two of those. Yeah, you just get two crits and that's it's four damage. And that's basically going to basically decide the game. Um, if your opponent somehow survives with heal triggers, um, 
I guess, you know, you just gotta heal back. So that's my solution to that. That's how I won my shop challenge, basically. So I hope you guys enjoyed uh, my deck profile. Uh, if you have any, uh, I won uh, other games. You'll see that we filmed videos with this deck on the channel. Uh, I beat Jose's premium Overlord deck and Miles' premium Ripple deck, which are both uh, pretty high and competitive in the meta right now. So you'll see why this deck does so well against the two, one of those two uh, good meta decks, and then um, you'll understand why better why I won uh, my shop challenge. Uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye.